So yeah, here we are again and uh, it's uh, one or two hours later, so actually I put most of the components inside like these chinch connectors and the uh, switches, the uh, meter, the fuse socket, uh, sorry, the um, socket for the uh, tube was already there and on the front things don't look too bad now. Here we have the different switches. This one is basically the green one is meant for switching between tube system 1 and 2. This one is basically for <coughs> connecting the grid either to uh, ground or to uh, to a higher level. And this one is to shorten these connectors here which is actually my ampere meter so if I plug it then this will be shorted which means I can pull out these plugs and the tube will still be working and here I have my little meter which basically should indicate whether it's a good tube or not basically what it will do is for 1.6 milliampere like we have here it will clearly indicate a red uh, value maybe I have to adjust it even to build higher values yeah now what we also have is some sort of dynamic test so we have a, a four-header input here and the output which comes from my signal generator and feeds into my oscilloscope so basically right now we are running a we are running a, a sine wave um, with a level of uh, this is approximately more than 20 volts now coming from my generator and I can yeah so this tube is amplifying nicely because the input signal is 10 times smaller right so and if I pull this plug, then we should, yeah, sure, of course I'm not pulling the plug, but I'm pulling the tube, sorry for being a bit stupid. Now let's try this old Volvo MCC3883. Oops. We'll see that the, it takes a while to, for the dynamic test to come up with some values there it comes okay nice and here we are running on 1.5 ampere plate current Let's see if the other system is working 1.6 1.7 okay little difference this is when I put the grid to uh, ground. Okay, so things basically working. I might have to adjust the uh, the meter still a bit and do some beautifying. But here we still have some test resistor. It's actually my grid resistor, 100 kilo ohms, which I want to. Uh, permanently connect and then since this thing is quite old I have a couple of loose things I saw this shunt here is, is is loose and I have to reconnect it so it slipped out of the connection and this resistor as well and a couple of more things I have to do and uh, there's a loose fuse holder right here which I should connect and uh, this will I will also do now and clean a bit the mess on my table and then in a while things should look a bit even more in order <laughs> 